tonight on Gerald and Nathan's Builder's Workshop. Gerald is going to be going through two circuits that he's previously debuted on the Builder's Workshop. He's going to give schematics. He's going to show you the circuit. He's going to walk through the circuit and give you point-to-point -point or solder point-to-solder -solder point instructions on exactly how to build this. He's also going to provide a parts list so that you may build this circuit in the future. Here's a quick refresher course on exactly what circuits we're talking about. And this here, this transistor, this is a 1600 volt, 30 amp horizontal deflection transistor out of an old tube TV. This one really, my coil loves this one. <laughs> <laughs> Puts out a lot of juice. Do you have the model number on there? Uh, uh, that the one is a D2499. Did you catch that? You said D2499? Yep, transistor. Pretty sure that's the 30 amp one. It might be the 15 amp one. No, I'm pretty sure it's the 30 amp. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I'm sure they'll pull it up. So they'll they'll definitely know. I don't mind being corrected. I, I make mistakes, man. I'm human. Hey, I ain't perfect. I'm there with you, bud. <laughs> All right, what do you got? What's the next one? Okay, so the next one, this one's a little bit more complicated. We'll have to go over this one in a video. See if I can show it properly to my camera. So this one, um, okay. Like I said, it's a bit complicated, but my bifiler coil goes in this. I use another speaker clip, right? So my primary goes in the top. My secondary goes in the bottom. Um, this is a transistor for the first for the first signal out of the signal generator going to the primary. This is the second transistor from the signal generator that goes to the secondary. When I pulse that coil and, and levitate it above a magnet, this is the circuit. So uh, first signal turn on, it'll be this transistor. The coil will go an inch above the magnet. Second signal turn on this other transistor and it'll go an inch and a half to two inches above the magnet. Nice. Then I flip this switch and I turn this potentiometer. And from that point, it jumps the third time and raises or lowers depending on the potentiometer setting. That's what this circuit does. This, if you're wondering, is the power. I just hook this up to whatever power I want, a battery, a wall plug, whatever. So the neons that are in here, or in case I put too much current through it, they automatically turn on and they use some of that load so that the circuit stays cool. Um, this is a 50 ohm ceramic transistor, sorry. That, or transistor, sorry, resistor that's needed uh, with this 1K potentiometer, or you're gonna blow this potentiometer through the <laughs> roof, which I've already done and had to replace twice, and I'm on my third one. So. <laughs> Well, we'll go over this circuit in the next video, and, and I'll do like a, maybe I'll uh, do a full build live on this one, because this one's kind of, uh, it's not complicated, but it's really neat, and everybody should use it in their bifiler coils. Absolutely. So, Ian says, is that your modified Jewel Steve circuit? It's part of it. There's a little more to it that I can't add to this circuit, because there's not a lot of enough room on the plate but it's uh pretty much the modified jewel circuit except for this part this part's usually got a hairpin circuit uh, instead of the resistor and it goes to a cap bank that i tap for a load and that's kind of how i control my primary through my secondary gerald and nathan's builders workshop will be live tonight wednesday 3 p.m. specific standard time. We're going to build some simple circuits, but we're always going to have a lot of fun. I hope to see you there. Thank you.